What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is Venomine Figs here, and today we are here hitting your subscription box with another tutorial video. Now, I know this is a very cheap setup. I don't really know about a screen recorder, but who cares? It works. So, we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to make your figures on mask. It's going to be epic, guys. I have not seen anyone do this on YouTube. I don't think so. Um, So, I don't know if I'm the first, but it is an original idea, but... This is going to be cool, guys. And today is TLC, one of the worst pay-per-views. Um, I'm not really excited for it whatsoever. But AJ and Balor is pretty cool. I mean, no build-up, but whatever, pretty cool. Anyways, what we're going to have to do, you're going to have to go on Googly. And then what you're on Googly, you're going to have to type in John Cena Big Head. Interesting, right? Then, you all, you're, then you're going to see all these sexy pictures of John Cena. But you see, where's where's my moose? You see this one? We're going to have to type in that one, guys, and look at that. Check that out. So, you're going to have to get this, drag it out of your, um, like, I don't know how to, I don't know how you guys would do it, but you can just press your, uh, right on your moose, and then just press copy image. Then, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go to freaking, um, Google Docs. We're going to have to go on Google Docs, right, right, right. And obviously, um, screw you, Kim. Um, so blank. And then what you're gonna have to do here? Paste your image. B Boom! There's the John Cena. Now you just kind of have to resize it for a figure. It is gonna take a little bit of time, guys. And I'll come back to you once I get it to the right size. Okay, took a little bit of time, but here is the right size for your big head John Cena. This is interesting. It is a pretty small size. I don't know how to, like, tell you guys what size it is. I hope you guys can figure it out yourself. Now what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to print this out, and I'll show you the next steps. All right, now that you've printed out your John Cena big head, now you're going to have to get four pieces of paper. So one, two, three, and four, and then considering this paper... Um, five. So, you want to just neatly organize that, and boom. Now, what you're going to have to do, you want to get your scissors, and then you just want, like, since obviously there's a front and a back of this, just cut out the front. That's all you have to do. Just cut out this part, and then after, I'll show you the next steps. Let's start the time lapse. <laughs> John Cena head. Probably the hardest part, guys, is the ears. That is probably the hardest part. Not perfect, but hey, I already have one uh, perfect myself. Um, So yeah, but this is how, this is your end product with the five pieces of paper. And now you want to get your scooch tape. Um, And yeah, so then you just, it's a fresh one too. Um, You want to just rip a piece of shit. Yes! Okay, now that you got your final product, rip a piece of tape out and start taping your John Cena big head together. Um, it is, it's not really that hard, just once you do one, you really just got the hang of it. So, then yeah, just if you want to start, like if you want, you can get one big piece and just cut away with it. And then just start just taping the John Cena big head. Um, do feel free to do that. Um, I don't know how many pieces of tape you're gonna need, however many you desire, and this will just help it protect not to, like, fold or wrinkle, uh, it's a very cheap and easy way, I think I'll just use this little piece to put it over the whole head, and then from here, you're just gonna have pieces sticking out, so then once again, this is the hardest part, um, or not the hardest part, but it's a tricky part, now that you taped all of it, now you just wanna make it perfect, cut out those excess tape on the outside then i'll show you step four all right now that you cut out all the excess as you guys can see it's pretty shiny this again is gonna help help it like be sturdier and also more durable and also not full so very cheap and easy way to just cover up your um john cena head now what you're gonna need is the fake leather which if you watch my belt video um the fake leather, you're going to need some hot glue, and then Velcro. So yeah, let's go get those things, and I'll come back to you once I got them. 
Okay, just got the hot glue Velcro and everything. So here's my Velcro. Here's the fake leather. This is one piece already for what I'm going to need. You got your used car salesman. I mean the mist. And then you got a hot glue gun. So now what we're going to have to do. So you got your Velcro. You got your hot glue. Got this. This is the part that's going to be the main part for your mask. So you're going to have to get a piece of fake leather. It's fake leather. It's not real. Um, I got it at an arts and crafts store, if you're wondering. And so pretty much what you're going to have to do is you want to get a piece. Now, I'm, this is an example. I already have one cut out from my, my other tries. Um, so you want to get a piece or just your thing. And you want to put it around the forehead of the figure and wherever it like just connects both pieces touch you want to grab it off and then you want to get your scissors cut this part see right here you want to cut that part and then make it thin so you know you don't show it and boom then you get this and this piece fits all the way perfectly around the forehead as you can see boom look at that you see boom these pieces are touching, and then, yeah, so get that. Now, now that you got that, you got your Velcro, now it's time for the hot glue part, and uh, yeah, I'll show you how to do that. All right, guys, now that we're, I'm so sorry that we're moving everywhere. It's just my table, um, which is not available right now. But now that you have your hot glue, and you have your ready up John Cena head, and you got your fake leather, and you got your Velcro, now what you're going to have to do is, okay, so here's your Cena head. Flip it this way. You see this ear? This ear right here? This is the part where you're going to have your hot glue with this glued to it. So let's get started with it. So you want to, of course, press your hot glue onto that ear quickly because, you know, hot glue dries super fast. You want to place this onto the ear. There you go. And just push it down a little bit. And if if you have to add a like a overlayer of glue onto the fake leather so you make sure that it won't like come off or anything a little messy but it's worth it guys tell me it's it's funny it's really funny the final product's really funny <laughs> um okay and i think this should be good and it's kind of stuck to me so yeah i think it definitely should be good okay but there we go now look I pull, doesn't even come off. So that's for sure set. And now, this is where you're gonna have to get your Velcro. Now you want, you don't wanna get the spiky side. Not the spiky side, you wanna get the soft side. And you wanna cut a little bit of it. You wanna cut just a tiny bit of the soft side. Okay. And then you wanna cut it even smaller. Like way small, like super small. Uh, no, maybe not super small because you want to have it fit around a figure of your choice. And then you want to rip off the little sticker in order to reveal the sticky part of the Velcro. So let's take this thing out. If I even can. There we go. And you want to put this on the smaller ear right here. You want to put that on the smaller ear like this. And you want to put it like, apply it right there. And there you go, dude. You're almost done. Almost done, guys. Now you want to get your spiky side. You want to get the spiky side now of the uh, Velcro. And rip another small piece of it right here. Just want to casually rip off a small piece right there, guys. And so now, okay, well, that was a little bit of a big piece. So you want to just, I'm going to cut it down just a tad bit smaller because it didn't need to be that big. And then you want to cut it like maybe about right here. So yeah. So again, it's all Velcro and glue and tape and paper and uh, fake leather. So that's really it, guys. I mean, we're almost done here. You just want to rip off that. Then you see right here of the fake leather. So see, it's going to go like that. You want to put the spiky side right here. So look at this. You put the spiky side right there. And then you got your fake leather hanging out. Put the glue, put the soft side of the uh, Velcro. And here's the used card salesman. You put it on his face. Wrap it around the head. 
And then, you, of course, you want to lift it up a little bit. And you want to get your soft side. And look at this. It works and it fits. And now your used car salesman is John Cena. <laughs> It's so stupid. It worked, guys. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. And this is the way I do it. Uh, I haven't... I didn't really see anyone do this. It got... You know, I made this up, I guess you could say. Um, But, yeah, guys. So, there it is. There's the John Cena mask. And so, yeah. And then, look. Just take it off. And you can put on anything. And so, if you want to make sure it's really safely secure. You can also add more Velcro. Um, So, you add as much Velcro to your desire. But, check that out guys my used car salesman is now a john cena so check that out guys that is it for this video i really hope you guys have enjoyed this is the tutorial on how to make an action figure mask and i really hope you guys did enjoy it um it's a very stupid one but i hope it really helps um this is good for like pick fedding stop motion comedy i don't know um your hand fed it's really good for anything it's just a funny thing that i made up myself so i love it i think it's hilarious i mean <laughs> check that out and so yeah just check it out you can take it off and then if you want to make it tighter just put it right there and look at that now your miz is a John Cena. That is awesome, guys. Um, it, it's stupid. I know it's stupid. But hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.